Hi guys, this is Grandpa. We're going to start a new book today. And this book is one of my all-time favorites. When I used to be a school teacher, I used to read this to my class every year. And they just love this book. It's because it has a lot of adventure in it, has a little bit of scariness in it. There's good people in the book, and there's kind of a bad guy in the book. And um, it's mostly about this little mouse, and she's really brave, and she does some very brave things in this book. The book is called Poppy, and I know that you all have a copy of it. This is the title of the book, P-O-P-P-Y. That says Poppy. Down here it says A-V-I, and that spells Avi. And Avi is the person who wrote this book. Um, usually when somebody asks you your name, you and I give them your full name. If I were to ask Clara, Clara, what's your name? You'd say, my name is Clara Gunther. If I said, Walter, what's your name? You'd say, my name is Walter Gunther. If I said, Gwen, what is your name? You'd say, my name is Gwen Carnell. If I said, Mariel, what's your name? You'd say, my name is Mariel Carter. Tobias would say, my name is Tobias Carter. But this person, they're only giving one word for their name in AV, and that's because sometimes when you write a book, people don't want to use their real name, their first name and last name, but they use a made-up name or maybe a nickname that somebody gave them in life. And this author is a man, and he has a real name. But whenever he writes a book, he uses what we call a pen name, a made-up name. And in this case, Avi happens to be the nickname that they used to call him when he was a little kid. They called him Avi. My mom was like that. My mom, her real name was Arvella, but everybody called her Tootsie. So Tootsie was her nickname. And maybe someday you guys will have a nickname as well. People will call you by your nickname. In our story today, we're going to find out that Poppy, our main character, is a mouse that's called a deer mouse. There are different kinds of mice. Um, there's a mouse that's called a, a golden mouse, and it is brown all over its body. It's pure brown, kind of a reddish brown um, there are gray mice. Some mice are all gray. And Poppy, because she's a deer mouse, she's she's got this bright white tummy. And the rest of her is kind of a golden color. So she's a real pretty mouse. And mouse mice, just like people, there's boys and there's girls. And she happens to be a girl mouse. Okay? This person, Avi, who wrote the book, Avi is a great author, and he's very good at writing books, and he wrote several books, like eight of them. But he's not a very good artist, so he let somebody else draw the pictures. And down here it says that this book was illustrated by somebody named Brian Floca, and he drew all of the pictures, and you can see he's a really good artist. You know, some of you guys are really good artists, so maybe someday you can write a book and you can draw all of your own pictures. You can be the author and the illustrator. Or maybe you'll be just the illustrator. Maybe you'll do nothing but draw the pictures for other people's books. I know that um, Gwen's grandpa, that's one of the things he does, is he draws illustrations. He draws pictures for other people's books. Okay, in our story, you're going to have to know a little bit about owls, because we have an owl in our story. Grandma and Grandpa have owls in our backyard, and they kind of go, kuk, 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 And uh, that's because they're a kind of owl that's called a barred owl. Barred means that they have stripes on them that look like bars, and they're called a barred owl. And they actually grow to be pretty big. And they're in our trees at night, and they're always on the lookout for any kind of a small animal. They will eat any kind of a small animal. They'll eat a frog. They'll eat a snake. They love mice. They love rabbits. And they eat our squirrels. And all owls are like that. They, they don't like to eat plants. 
they eat animals and they find live animals and they catch and kill and eat live animals. There's another owl out there that's called a screech owl and it makes a noise that sounds like ah! it screeches. And then there's this big owl. It's the biggest of all of the owls and it's called a great horned owl. And it, it, it is so big that it will eat not only frogs and snakes and mice, but it can eat anything as big as it can kill and eat a raccoon or a skunk. Or we're even kind of afraid when we go for a walk because it would even eat something as big as Trillion, catch him and eat him. So, and you know, we have some great horned owls here around my house, and they are they're kind of interesting because they are the king of the forest. All of the other animals are scared of the great horned owl. It's called a great horned owl because on its head, it has something that looks like horns, but they're just made out of feathers. So they have feathers up here, but it makes it look like they have horns. And you know, if you've ever seen a picture of somebody drawing a picture of the devil, the devil often has pictures of horns. He has horns. And we think of the devil as being evil and mean. And this great horned owl, because it has horns, it's kind of like the devil. Looks mean and, and evil. So we're going to see that. I've got to know a little bit about owls. Another thing about owls, you and I have eyes, but um, we can move our eyes. Our eyes move. Without moving my head, I can move my eyes up. I can move my eyes down. I can move my eyes from side to side. So I can see a lot of things, and I don't have to move my head. I can move my eyes. Owls aren't that way. Owls have eyes that do not move. They can't move their eyes. So if they want to see from side to side, they have to turn their whole head from side to side. If they want to see something up or down, they have to move their entire head up or down. And interestingly enough, they can turn their head all the way around completely backwards so they can see something back behind them. I don't know about you, but my head does not turn completely backwards. Owls have really, really, really good eyes. Their eyes are much, much better than you and I's. In fact, they can sit out in the trees at night when it's almost pitch black, but they can still see everything. They can see in the dark. I can't see in the dark with my eyes, can you? Nope. And they can sit in the top of a tree and they can see something far away. I can't see things very far away. They can see a little animal like a mouse from very far away in the dark. So they have really good eyes. Much, much better than you and I's eyes. Another thing about an owl is that they have claws and their claws are really sharp. Our book talks about them as having claws that are as sharp as needles. You can see on the front picture that Poppy is holding a needle like you and I would use to sew. You put thread on it and you could sew with this needle. Well, when you're a little Poppy, when you're a mouse, you could use a needle for a weapon, kind of like a spear or a sword. Well, Okax, our owl in our story, he has talons that are like needles. And when he catches an animal, he pokes his needle claws into them. They call them talons. And just his claws and grabbing something in his claws will kill the animal because of his sharp claws. So, ooh, owls could be kind of scary thing if you're a little animal and they were chasing you and trying to eat you. The other thing about owls that's interesting that makes them different from all of the other birds, all of the other birds have feathers that when they fly, their feathers make a sound. Um, if you've ever been close to a bird and it flies, you can actually hear the feathers moving. They kind of go whoosh. 
And if you were a mouse and you had good ears, you could hear all of the birds flying in the air because they make a whoosh, whoosh sound with their feathers. But an owl has feathers that are called fluted feathers, means that the inside of their feathers are hollow. And so when they fly, they don't make a whoosh, whoosh sound. In fact, they don't make any sound. They can fly and no other animal can hear them. They're completely silent when they fly. So if you're a little animal, that's kind of a scary thing because an owl can sneak up on you in the air and you don't even hear it. You don't know it's there. And the owls can fly through the trees at night and not hit any branches, not hit any trees. I don't know how they do that. I guess it's because they have such good eyesight. But they can fly right through the trees in the middle of the night, and it, and they don't hit anything. Avi, in our story, he likes to have all of the little animals talk. All of the little animals are kind of like people. They have voices, and they have personalities, and they talk. And he gives them names. And our main character, he calls her Poppy. Now, Poppy is the name of a flower. So she's named after a flower. We have another mouse in our story, and his name is Ragweed. Ragweed is not a flower, it's a, a weed. So he names his little animals after plants, flowers, and, and we're going to talk about some of the names of some of the things. We're going to talk about this great horned owl, and his name is Okax. And he likes to live in a big hollow tree, because owls are only out at night. They're what we call nocturnal. He comes out and is awake during the night, and his eyes are so good that he can look around and see animals at night. And then he goes into his tree during the day and sleeps during the day. That's nocturnal. You and I are not nocturnal. We don't stay up at night. We like to be awake during the day, and we go to sleep at night. But there are several animals that are nocturnal. They're only out there at night, not during the day. And mice are kind of nocturnal. They can go outside at night, and they're okay in the night as well. But they also will come out during the day, so they're not completely nocturnal. All right, well, I'm uh, going to stop here with this video this morning. And the next video that we get started on, we're going to jump into the book and get started with the book. I'm looking forward to that. This is going to be a good book. This is exciting. All right. See you on the next one. Bye.